And now we are reading of the riots in Ephesus. Paul stayed there two years. He taught and preached the word of God, the angel. And we read in Acts, which is the history of the Holy Spirit, about the riots in Ephesus. Today, he, Paul preached that the man-made gods are useless and this causes a riot. There is the Artemis, Greek named of the Roman goddess Diane, Diana, whom the people prayed for life and for growth. This was a pagan city, Ephesus, in today's western Turkey, a bit like the size of London in the Roman Empire in the mid-first century. Stefan Heger, I'm reading with you this chapter, verse 21 to verse 41. 20 verses. You can follow me in your Arabic, Amharic, Urdu, Hindi, whatever Bible. It is the same textus receptus and God will speak to your heart. I am convinced. After all this had happened, Paul decided to go to Jerusalem. He went through Macedonia and Achaia, which is again Greek from Turkey. After I have been to Jerusalem, he said, I must visit Rome also. He sent Timothy and Erastus, two of his helpers, to Macedonia. But he stayed a little longer in Asia Minor. Verse 23. At that time, many people became very upset about the way of Jesus. There was a man named Demetrius who made things out of silver. He made silver models of the temple of the goddess Artemis. He brought a lot of business for the other skilled workers. One day he called them together. He also called others who were in the same kind of business. Men, he said, you know that we made good money from our work. You have seen and heard that this fellow Paul is doing. Some people don't like Paul. Are you one of them, my friend? He has talked to a large number of people here in Ephesus. <coughs> Almost everywhere in Asia Minor, he has led people away from our gods. He says that the gods we make are not gods at all. Our work is in danger of losing its good name. People's faith in the temple of the great goddess Artemis will be weakened. Now she is worshipped throughout all of Asia Minor and the whole world. But soon she will be robbed of her greatness. When they heard this, they became very angry. They began shouting, Great is Artemis of the Ephesians. Soon people were making trouble in the whole city. They all rushed into the theater. They dragged Gaius and Aristarchus along with them. These two men had come with Paul from Macedonia. Paul wanted to appear in front of the crowd. But the believers couldn't let them, wouldn't let them. Some of the officials in Asia Minor were friends of Paul. They sent him a message begging him not to go into the theater. There was a riot, it became dangerous. Verse 32, the crowd didn't know what was going on. Some were shouting one thing and some another. Most of the people didn't even know why they were there. The Jews pushed Alexander in the front. Some of the crowd tried to tell him what to say, but he motioned for them to be quiet. He wanted to speak up for himself in front of the people. But then they realized that he was a Jew. So they all shouted the same thing for about two hours. Great is the Artemis of the Ephesians! They yelled. The city clerk quietened the crowd down. Men of Ephesus, he said. The whole world knows 
that the city of Ephesus guards the temple of the great Artemis. They know that Ephesus guards her statue, which fell from heaven. These facts can't be questions, so calm down. Don't do anything foolish. These men haven't robbed any temples. They haven't said evil things against our goddess. But you have brought them here anyhow. Demetrius and the other skilled workers may feel they have been wronged by someone. Let them bring charges. The courts are open. We have our governors. Is there anything else you want to bring up? Settle it in court of law. As it is today, we are in danger of being charged with causing all this trouble. That's what I said in the city, look. But there is no reason for it. We wouldn't be able to explain what has happened. After he said this, he sent the people away.